Uh, so real quick, as I was watching over my recording, I noticed that I misspoke. I just want to put this out there. Uh, when you hear me say that I lose my consecutive hits bonus by letting off my trigger and reloading, that's not what I meant. I meant the green monster bonus. Uh, you only lose your consecutive hit bonus if, you, if you're not doing any damage. So every damage you're doing is keeping that bonus. Uh, your iron bear, your nades, your dots that are on things, and your gun. Your ricochets, everything is working towards that, that consecutive hit. So I just wanted to make that correction at the beginning of the video here. Alright, here we go with the takedown run with the revised Hypermose setup. There will be a link to the build video in the description. I uh, did earlier do a takedown run with the bit different of a setup using a Blastmaster. Uh, but I've I've come to like this better, although uh, I haven't ran it since I revised a bit of it, so I'm going to be experiencing a couple different things. First of all, I'm going to have more recoil on my re redistributor because I got rid of my scrap points I was using, which is actually really nice. There's going to be a longer swap speed as well. Uh, secondly, I don't have grizzled anymore, so if I get... The only time I really think I'm going to notice that is on the bridge because uh, I like to rush the middle of the bridge and sometimes it gets really hairy and that's really when the only time I was getting an iron bear and uh, sometimes during the war time fight as well I, I was getting an iron bear so we'll see if taking out my grizzled points was a mistake or not uh, if you do have trouble surviving and you find you need to get in and out of iron bear to stay alive more often then just put the points in grizzled and move them out of quiet the grenade skill, the extra grenade skill. So even with uh, the extra points in Iron Bank that I talked about in the build video, it looks like we're still like counting down on our mags as so we will still end up having to reload sometimes. Again, it's, it's no big deal really. Even though I, like I just lost my consecutive hits bonus by letting off the trigger and when you reload your gun at you, it doesn't really matter. You still have plenty of damage. See, we just straight burn right through cracking, no problem. We go ahead and fill up my mags here. So with the consecutive hits, I have to again go back on my previous video and say that Green Monster is de the definite winner here. There's no question about it. It was a little different when I was using the other anoint, but now that I'm using this, there's literally no question about which one is stronger. Great monster, way more damage. It's not even close. And you'll see that as we get into this Valkyrie fight when I start doing the armor phases and stuff. And when I fight dogs, orbs, if, if you watched my other takedown, you easily be able to see the difference. I shot that guy's shield a lot. So we're gonna switch to the hyper focus for the single target here, or single fat target. So the side projectiles are gonna hit her pretty well. Do quite a bit to her. Yeah, I noticed the swap speed. I definitely liked it better with the faster swap speed, but again, it's worth it. As you can see, I want to talk about how you don't see me just constantly throwing nades. That's something I see a lot of most players do. And then they complain about how they run out of nades, how Moe's has problems keeping up on her nades and stuff, and how Moe's is bad and whatnot. But she tried to be more disciplined with her nade throws. You don't need to have 10 of them out on the field to stay alive. When you're in a heavy damage situation, you're just taking damage from everywhere. Yeah, throw five or six of them out there. Make sure you're constant, you know, not just like spamming the button non-stop, but make sure you're, you're keeping a good flow of them. But I see people literally just going like this. I'll do it on this, what I see everybody doing. And this is why they run out of days. They go like this the whole time. And it does work in some builds, especially if you're using a splash weapon. But you're gonna run out of nades at some point. Get over here, dickweeds. It always happens. I see a lot of people complaining about it. But if 
you watch, watch me play, you'll see that sometimes I'm throwing nades qu quite a bit like that when I need them. But otherwise, I'm just making sure I have a couple out on the field. Enough to stay alive, enough to proc my anointment, and enough to keep consecutive hits going with the dots. And that's basically the whole focus. I don't, you don't need to just, oh, I just, I just killed their armor phase with the redistributor and just straight burned them down. That's the power of the green monster with the consecutive hits. And that was, because I'm used to the swap speed of, uh, of Scrappy. I actually tried, thought I swapped weapons. I pressed the button, but I didn't time it right and it just didn't get through. Sometimes if you try to do it like while you're firing or you don't take the time to let off the trigger and then swap, sometimes the swap won't go through. That's what happened there. Up a finely aged cask of I don't want to push forward because I know there might be a barrel around there. It goes. There was a barrel there. I've died to that barrel before. I don't want to do it. I don't want to die to the barrel. So, because I don't constantly throw my nades, I never run out. I have way more than I need, especially since I spent points on the extra grenades. I got the big boom blaster. Uh, I'm almost always gonna be at full, but you'll see once I get to the bridge, I'll be throwing them quite a bit more. And then at certain points in the Wotan fight, you'll see me throw more of them. But it's all calculated, it's not just, I'm not just spamming them. There's like, when I throw an aid, it's for a reason. And I think that's a big difference of my success compared to some other people's issues that they have with it. Now, that's not to say that you know, means the destruction is perfect and never bugs out and just stops regening, especially for, I guess, people on PlayStation. Uh, their nades don't regen other nades, unless they're using a spring epicenter for whatever, or an epicenter for whatever reason. That's a legitimate issue, and if they have more nade discipline, they'd be able to deal with it better. That's kind of what I'm trying to get across here. So that's one point I want to make real strong in this video because I see it so much and it bothers me when I go and watch somebody's takedown run or somebody's slaughter shaft run and they're, and they're doing that. I, I don't like to see it. It just bugs me for some reason. It's kind of a pet peeve. But you'll see like, we'll see if getting rid of Grizzled was a mistake in this part of the run because this is a risky move to push the bridge like this. Especially with Moe's when the dogs get up in your face with nades on them and stuff. So you'll notice for sure I, I, I definitely throw more nades when I'm in a situation like this because there's just damage coming from every source. I could be health gated repeatedly. And you'll see like when I'm on the very last stage of Wotan that's when I spam the most nades because of the nades he throws at me repeatedly health gate me. So I want to make sure I'm just getting instantly healed back to real health gate fast. So that is when I'll, I'll spam the nades really hard. Even right now, I'm not having too much of an issue. So I'm actually, I'm going to hold off on that guy because he's a badass. And I can use a better weapon for that. Right now I'm throwing my nades mostly just to keep my annoyance up, my annoying up, my consecutive hit annoying and to, uh, Keep dots on stuff. Again, it's just mostly just for the consecutive hits. Oh, and I might grenade anoint the, the throwing anoint. So every six seconds at least you want to throw an aid, you know, to keep that up. So some other types of builds, like if you're not wearing a big boom blaster, maybe you rely on the nades a little more. So yeah, throw them a little more, but still you. you don't need to throw them on cooldown, regardless of what build you're using. Even in the most dire situations, five or six nades out at once is more than enough to heal you. And it's much better to err on the side of safety of not running out of nades, because once you run out of nades, then you're fucked, right? So. 
good idea to, to pay more attention to it and try to try to learn your play a little. So we got an Iron Bear once because I got hit by nades. <laughs> Yeah, this, I definitely noticed the recoil difference. Can you not be at the end of the bridge, you asshole? I don't want to throw nades at him. I knew he was going to jump in my face. <laughs> so since we're single target, I'm using... You know, notice I was using the uh, hyper focus on him instead of the rear shooter. It's kind of a, a wider enemy, so it works pretty well against them. I always use hyper focus on these guys. Chaining from one to the other is not going to make as much difference as getting those extra hits on the particular one I'm aiming at. And if they happen to be beside, beside each other like they actually were, you know, you'll, you'll hit them anyways. Since those projectiles shoot out to the side. Make sure I had my guardian rank on. Since I just respect, I always turn the guardian rank off to respect so that I don't get a cooldown bug. Uh, that's something I see a lot too. People upload videos and it's a build video and they have the cooldown bug, so they're getting Iron Bear every five seconds. And it's not a fair representation of the build, obviously, when you're doing that. So I definitely like to try to avoid getting that. And the best way to do that is just. Uh, Press Q and disable your guardian rings and then respec and then turn it back on. And that avoids it completely. Bring it, scrubs. So for this, best tactic for Wotan is to get through his phases as fast as you possibly can. Ignore every ad unless it starts getting crazy. If you can get through those three phases, those uh three little sections right there fast, then you're good to go. You don't get any, any of the robots spawn. Now the faster you can get through this, the less strikers you're gonna have. When you get them on the ground right there, that's when you wanna just clean up the whatever ads you do have. We got through this shit really fast. There's almost nothing, we only got a few. So we got a badass heavyweight. And I'm gonna pull out the hyper focus for him, because it's gonna be Better than the redistributor on him. I want to get rid of that striker before I go on low time here. All right. I try to make sure I'm close to low time when I put him into this base so that I can transition directly into taking out his shield. And that spot you saw me on, the side you saw me on, that's a good side to be on when it spawns and you'll be close to the opener so you can get on it right away. You want to avoid the mortars and then get to this as fast as possible so you can avoid getting the robot spawn in that phase. And we want to focus on the better half. So this is when I'll start doing a little extra nade spam because as you can see I'm getting health gated like crazy and one thing I normally won't do is target the better half with my nades because the way it flies around it avoids them for a while sometimes. You won't get your healing off of it right away. So that's why you saw me. I had to get an iron bear in order to not die there because I was trying to target the better half with my nades and it just wasn't working. So once he starts throwing his nades at me, that's when I'm going to start throwing my nades at him. That's a see, one hit just helps me. So you want to make sure you got to get up. But still, I hardly threw nades compared to anybody else ever see <laughs> too. Where they would have ran out of nades, you know. I had a bad jump on the legs. Usually I can get all those legs. But yeah, so definitely green monster. I made the build better. Uh, with the consecutive hits. So there you have it. Enjoy the build if you play it.